Give us your take on the headlines that cropped up just in the last 30 minutes. What, what does this all mean for the bank specifically? Well, first of all, what I think's happened is an incredible amount of bad news has already been baked into securities prices. And I think you see it nowhere more than the, than the bank stocks and the financials. I've been watching your show, been watching the market uh, uh, since really the middle part of last year and especially this year. Bank stocks have been underperforming because they are basically the, the centerpiece of all the worries. But the reality is the performance of the banks has been better. And if we don't get the worst case scenario, I think there's a lot of fuel here for outperformance in a rally. The worst case scenario meaning what? Meaning we've got baked in 225 basis points cuts. We've got uh, our view is that there still will be continued growth in the economy and that we don't hit a, a recession around the corner. Uh, if that doesn't happen, uh, there are a lot of positives to where these stocks are right now and where the industry is uh, uh, right now. I mean, I was looking at the forward P.E. ratio is the lowest it's been in 15 years. 16, as of this morning uh, on the open air on the close last night, 16 of the 24 banks in the Keith Bank Index had a dividend yield that was 200 percent the U.S. Treasury 10-year. Uh, and, and also, banks are still buying back a lot of stock. And remember, they buy back stock in dollars, not number of shares. So their dollars have been going longer. And so they're going to have better, I think, earnings per share performance because of the prices at which they've been able to buy their own shares. Uh, and the balance sheets are the strongest they've been in 80 years. And I'll even throw in, too, two weeks ago, we had 100 bank managements at a conference in New York City. And pretty much to a man and to a woman, the CEOs told us that, that the current outlook is pretty good. They're not seeing all the trouble that's been worrying the big headlines. So you're painting a really rosy picture there. But if, if you look at the warning signs here that there are lower rates, uh, that there are this is a late economic cycle. And you just said if the recession doesn't happen at this point, that there's global macro issues at play here and that um, there are a lot of investors who think that these earnings estimates are too high. Is there still an upside scenario for the banks, even if all of those warning signs are true? Y yes, there is, I, I believe, because, uh, look, my firm, KBW, has been cutting bank earnings estimates for the last year. So we used to think that earnings per share growth this year would be 11 percent. That's when we thought rates may be going higher. Now we're looking for 4 percent. I think it's a question of earnings per share growth, not is the banking industry going to hit turmoil like it was in the last crisis. The industry's in too good a shape and in different shape than where it was. So I think we're, what we're talking about is a matter of earnings per share growth. Meanwhile, relative to historical averages, bank stocks are 25 to 30 percent cheaper than where they would be typically on, a, on an actual basis and on a relative basis. I heard earlier it was mentioned that they're 53 percent of the S&P 500 by one measure. That's a historic low, yet the industry's very close to record profitability. And there's hey, Tom, nothing on the horizon that we've seen yet. Uh, FT had a piece this week about the number of layoffs at investment banks now hitting 30,000. A lot of that's European. But what's the likelihood that even from an offensive stance, U.S. banks start cutting uh, workforce in some significant numbers? I, I think the drive for better efficiency is, is incredible right now. Technology and digital uh, uh, attributes and banking are really changing the banking industry like they're changing most industries. There's always pressure to cut expenses, especially if we think it's a 4% earnings per share growth market. Uh, banks are going to do everything they can to squeeze out growth, and they're always focused on efficiency. Uh, my instincts are you're going to see headcount in the industry continue to go lower, and you're also going to see very big shifts in market share. You mentioned the European banks. Uh, the European banks uh, with negative interest rates are in a much more difficult environment than the American banks, and they've been losing share to the American banks, and I think it's likely to continue until they can steady their profitability outlook.